The next self-test is going to be the floor angel. And what we're going to do here is you're going to lay on the floor with your knees bent. And what we're going to do is we're going to let the arms come up like a cactus or an under arrest position. Okay, that's the position we want to go for here. And the goal here to start with is to make sure that we can connect the bottom of the ribs to the floor. That's a very, very, very important piece of this whole method of being able for the ribs to anchor down and so I can't get my hand underneath there. So that's the first thing. If you cannot do that, if you don't have the awareness to do that, then we've got a lot of work to do. So we have to keep the anchor there and then now Rebecca's got pretty good flexibility so her hand over here her wrist flops right down to the floor. Now many of you will have tension through your chest muscles and tension in your neck that may look like this when you lay down. Your head may go back like this and your arms may look like this when you try and go back and that's you're trying to reach for the floor but your wrist won't touch. And here is the mistake. If you try to press your wrist down but you lose this, so do that again Rebecca. So do it incorrectly. So try and press down, <laughs> press down here, and then, and then lose it here. See, we have to make sure this stays connected at all times. That's the most important thing. So you should be able to get wrist to the ground with your ribs in the back connected to the floor. That's the floor angel, and that's very diagnostic for upper cross syndrome and people with lots of numbness, tingling, um, stress headaches, carpal tunnel, uh, will often have this as a positive test.